Last week, these party videos of Sanna Marin, the Finnish Prime Minister, leaked to the internet, causing a huge upheaval. I don't usually go into politics, but today I'm gonna make an exception. So I'm gonna talk about what happened exactly and why this is such a big deal for fans. Watch the whole video before commenting and let me know what you think of this. Let's go. During the weekend between 5th and 8th of August, Sanna Marin was partying in a private apartment with other celebrities, singing, dancing and having fun. And there were actually two different parties in two different apartments and after that they continued in a club. And as we all know, the videos were meant to remain private, but someone leaked them to the internet. There have been speculations about drug use because what people said in the video, and the key word of the video was jauho jengi, and it's a compound word of two different words, jauho, which means flower, and jengi, which means gang. And it seems jauho, flower, is a slang word for drugs, although not very common. <laughs> So according to the linguist Lasse Hämäläinen, who had a sample of 10,000 messages from drug-related forums, the word jauho only appeared once. Another questionable line in the video was which means something like F this makes me feel good. But there was no explicit visual proof of drug use, so it's mostly speculation and clickbait headlines capitalized by the media. And the arguments were like, what else? Why else would they have used this or said these things in the video if it was not for drugs? And due to social pressure and for legal protection, Sanna Marin actually went for a drug test and we're still waiting for the results. And she also denied that the word Yauho Yengi was said in the video. According to Iltalehti, they had an anonymous, anonymous audio specialist to make a spectral analysis on the audio. And according to that, it was 100% is this like hard proof? That's also under, under debate because the person decided to remain private because of the <laughs> proportions this case has got. This news also made some international headlines and this is interesting because usually these domestic scandals don't make into the international news, but this time we did. <laughs> should be grateful for the scandals that they have. Imagine them telling other countries about their problems. America, you won't believe it. Our prime minister was caught dancing. It's terrible. America's like, yeah, 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 I gotta go. We're about to raid the former president's hotel to get back out nuclear codes. But good luck with that, good luck with that. We gotta go, gotta go. But then a few days later, a new video emerged. This one, the prime minister, Sanna Marin, was dancing very intimately with another man who was later recognized as Olavi Uusivirta, a Finnish musician. And this video was from the same night as the other parties, and this was Nightclub Teatri, which, uh, according to what I read, is a common club for celebrities. One specific part where the media again capitalized is the part where the man is leaning towards her in a way that it would look like that he's giving her a kiss on the neck. Well, again, we don't have hard proof, but again, lots of speculation on media, and obviously both of these people have denied of any inappropriate behavior. But here's the question, is it appropriate for a prime minister who is married with a two-year-old to dance so intimately with another man in a club? And also the gossip tabloid Seiska reported that some witnesses had seen Sanna Marin quite drunk and sitting on the lap of other men. But again, there is no visual proof, but as you can see why things are getting out of hand and more fuel for the fire. And this is not the first time Sanna has been seen partying in clubs. That also happened in December 2021. And the problem back then was that she had left her work phone home and meanwhile she had got an error that she may have been exposed to COVID. That was another problematic party scandal or like party problem for her. She's been very open about her free time. She's been posting photos of her in festivals like Ruistrock and Flow Festival. This is also a very new situation for Finns because we have never seen a relatively a relatively young female prime minister enjoying her free time so openly and just like any other Finn of her age. But here's the probably the most crucial factor of this whole thing, that she was on duty. So originally she was supposed to be on holiday for that weekend, but for some reason she cancelled the holiday for that weekend. And that also meant that she had no replacement or substitute for her. And later she told Minya that it was due to human error, whatever that means. Here's the thing, when you are prime minister, you're basically working 24 seven and you have to always be available, like reachable and able to work. And she also told media that at that night, she was capable of going to work if 
something came up, but in my opinion, looking at the videos, she seemed quite drunk, or at least tipsy. <laughs> but what she also told is that if there was a crisis coming up, she would know that in advance. Okay, f fair enough, but I mean, it sounds a little bit optimistic, and I don't think that's a reason to get drunk on duty. For reference, in 1994, when Estonia ship sank in Baltic Sea, uh, the Prime Minister at that time, Esko Aho, got a phone call at 4 a.m. that something has happened in the Baltic Sea, and he decided to have a crisis meeting three hours later at 7 a.m. If something of that magnitude would happen, I would not want that our Prime Minister the most powerful person would be intoxicated. So what do I, as a random Finnish dude on the internet, think of all of this? Well, first of all, I have to give her credit and I personally like her style that she's able to live like any other Finn, or any other person for that matter, of her age, in her free time and also enjoy it. There's nothing wrong with that and I think that's just awesome. But there were a few problems in this scandal. First of all, there were these verbal hints of drugs, although there is no hard proof of that she had taken any, and I also believe that she didn't take any. And secondly, she was dancing too intimately with another man in a club, like openly. And she was on duty during all of this. And she had had these like few mess ups before. So a little bit of lack of judgment in my opinion. And here's another question. From now on, what will be considered as acceptable behavior for people like the prime minister? Let's say if we had a male prime minister and he did this would that be okay? So I'm not in a position to evaluate her performance as the prime minister, but considering the circumstances, COVID, the Ukraine crisis, I think she's done like at least a decent job. And of course there are things that always can be done better, but all in all, I think this whole thing kind of got out of hand and to like ridiculous proportions, thanks to the misinterpretations and of course media making these clickbait headlines. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments below, but keep the discussion constructive.